Down South Africa. On the 15th of April 2004, three containers made its way across the oceans from Belgium to Cape Town. The transport was made possible with the help of Safmarine container lines and merged logistics with its final destination, the University of the Western Cape. UWC's ICS department has purchased a whopping 1,000 computers to be redistributed to various departments and student labs on campus. We spoke to those involved to find out more about the project and how it will affect academic life at UWC. Okay, the first time I heard about this computer was last year, late December, on late, a, a, early November, when Derek kids came to my office and he told me that he saw an article on the internet that there is a place called Close. I mean, there's a company called Close the Gap in Belgium. They actually having uh, they sell refurbished computers to tertiary institutions, basically for education. And he told me he would like me to come and attend the meeting and see if uh, I can organize some transportation for those computers if they decide to buy them. And then he, they reached the agreement that they're going to buy the computer, they bought the computers, and my task was to get transport for those computers. And I contacted SAA Cargo as well as Safe Marine. And Safe, I mean, SAA Cargo is willing to the transportation of those computers but the thing is the computers were too many and Seth Marine they came back to us they said they must come to the offices in Cape Town went to their offices in Cape Town with Terry Kids and uh, Kat Steven as well as the two guys from uh, uh, Close the Gap and they actually confirmed that they will ship the computers for free and they will also cover the logistics and basically they conduct they work hand in hand with uh, Mayask Logistics. Basically Mayask Logistics is the company to come logistics. Safmarine's commitment to the community is clearly illustrated by the Containers in the Community program which was started in the 1990s. We spoke to Dolly Plankis to find out about their involvement in the 1000 PC project. Our office in Belgium was approached by uh, Close the Gap and then uh, we were sent um, I think one of the directors sent us a note and we responded on that. We thought, well, this is a good uh, project because it also falls within our criteria of uh, funding. And we thought, okay, yes, we uh, don't have expertise of the logistics. We tie up with our trade uh, departments and uh, yes, and uh, we because that also needs the space on the ship and someone who's going to finance that. On our side, we more finance, uh, we were uh, approached to finance the, the, the cost of the, of the um, transportation of these computers. Preparing for the rollout of a thousand computers to various departments is not always an easy task, as Kurt Stevens explains. My uh, main involvement was with Shadin Langenhoven, where we um, set up the distribution center, because the first thing I realized is it's easy to get a thousand in. How are you going to distribute it to a campus population that is hungry for new computers? So um, that in itself was a big task, because we needed to convert. We actually converted an old dining area into a 
distribution uh, center that caters for the full 1,100 computers if you count the extra center cards. Aside from the logistical arrangements for delivery, there is a number of technical aspects that needs attention. Before they can leave the distribution center, each computer has to be checked for faults and loaded with the required software. Technical assistant Shalin Langenwerfen took some time out to explain a few of the steps involved in getting the PCs ready for distribution. Basically, your PCs come on, slap on whatever software needs to be slapped on, system streaks, and after that, out it goes. So just on, place, on, place, on, place, and enough space for people to move from PC to PC. There's not one person going to be sitting at each and every PC. One, that might be one person per shift. So he'll be doing all um, 24 hours, even many pieces is on. So he'll be having to go around the whole. And what we will also be making use of is the campus and coastal software. Camp and busy working with streaming on that. And we're hoping to have it done. There was great excitement as news about the arrival of the first shipment of computers reached the university. With the computers finally having arrived at UWC, the big question was which departments and labs would they be allocated to? When Professor Kiss asked me about you know, joining the Close the Gap in team in terms of you know, getting the machines, buying the machines from them, um, one of the first things that he asked us, who, is, who do we give it to us? We don't worry, we already have an assessment done. So we just had to update the current assessment and we've prioritized it according to um, teaching according to open access and according to research or postgraduate research. Also that we've called on departments like computer science, which we are also allocating pieces to, to do their own prep, their own um, software installation, etc. They're quite capable to do it, so that um, lessens the workload for us. We asked some students how they felt the arrival of 1,000 computers would impact them. Yeah, it could, it could, it could. But at the same time, it cannot, maybe, I don't know, depending on how you, you use that tool. I felt that it, it was difficult at the time because still had to, we had to, to save their stuff ourselves. As lab assistants, we had to, to save it ourselves and uh, distribute some information to their computers. But uh, now it's more efficient in a way that they can do it, they can set their work on their, they can set their work on their own and they can do everything on their own. Uh, a thousand computers can accumulate at about 2,000 students or more. That means that there will be enough labs for all students and also there will be efficiency and we will stop using old computers like the ones that we are using here. Because you know, when we don't have a lab, and we are suffering from that. Because we do have a lot of work, which needs to be typed, and no computers are available for us. So maybe we can benefit. Though the availability of 1,000 PCs will make a significant contribution to the academic experience of students, it is providing adequate access that remains a constant challenge one that the ICS department is currently addressing. Identifying suitable computer lab space is key in this process. Well, the plan is to turn it into a residential lab for students. Um, so on and off whether it's going to be post-grad or undergrad. While human resources, we try to build it into with the student assistants that we are using now for the 1000 PC project. They will just automatically then be deployed to this lab once, once it is developed, as well as the EMS lab that is under development now. Mm -hmm. That would be a good, good thing for us as well, um, part-time students, because by the time we get to the lab, the labs are closing around about 9 o'clock when the classes finishes, and we want to use a computer. So having such mm -hmm. access, I think it would be a good thing for us. 
According to Dewey Keats, the 1000 PC project is aimed at removing some of the physical barriers to the implementation of UWC's e-learning strategy. So it's within the context of this e-learning strategy that we have to understand this 1000 Computers project and, and in particular our, our attempts to address some of these physical access barriers. The other uh, barriers are being addressed by other kinds of projects as well and there are physical barriers other than the numbers of computers that we also need to address. So we have other projects that are working on those things like improving the quality of the network, um, locking down some of the, of the wastage of internet bandwidth, and so on to make sure that our environment is one that is conducive to the use of computer technology in teaching and learning. From those to whom much have been given, much will be expected. I would tell them they must look after those computers, they must use them to their utmost uh, best and ensure that those com computers are also uh, protected because it's their property now and also uh, make sure that the next student in the following years to come, they will make use of those computers. And I'm also glad to be part of that development within UWC. Thank you.